it would appear that Sean Diddy Combs is using cycling to alleviate some of the stress he is experiencing as a result of an investigation into sex trafficking. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. The music head honcho who has been spotted taking a bicycle ride around Miami Oceanside, was busy again on Saturday morning. The Terrible Kid Records organizer was giving a lady, who had all the earmarks of being his mom, a cordial kiss on the cheek, outside his South Florida home. He was subsequently seen two-wheeling it, wearing a white shirt with two hearts on it and multi-conditioned shorts. The rapper wore tennis shoes and white socks, and decided to wear a dark charged cap in reverse on his head as opposed to a defensive protective cap. The Love Album artist is being sued for rape and sexual harassment, most recently for helping and assisting his 25-year-old youngest son, Christian King Combs, in a sexual assault case. In November, Combs' former girlfriend Cassandra, Cassie, Ventura filed a lawsuit against him, alleging that he had raped, physically assaulted her, and forced her to have sex with, male sex workers, among other things. This was the beginning of the allegations. That claim was immediately settled, yet made the way for additional charges of sexual savagery and maltreatment from previous significant others and somewhere around one male representative. That very month another lady, Joie Dickerson Neal, documented a claim under the New York Grown-Up Survivors Act, which offered a one-year window to casualties of rape to approach, regardless of how quite a while in the past the supposed maltreatment occurred. In January 1991, Dickerson Neal asserts that the designer of Sean John abused her sexually and with drugs. She likewise affirmed Brushes recorded the episode and showed it to others. Notice, three additional ladies have since approached with claims making comparable charges. Two of those women claimed to have been sexually abused as teenagers at the time. Music producer Rodney, Lil Rod, Jones filed a lawsuit against the hitmaker on February 26. Jones claimed that he worked for Combs from September 2022 to November 2023. He claimed that he was also drugged, harassed, subjected to unwanted advances by associates of Diddy at his direction, and forced to have relationships with sex workers hired by Combs. Jones professed to have video and sound proof of brushes, his staff and others, taking part in serious criminal behavior. As a result of these complaints, Homeland Security agents raided his homes in Miami and Los Angeles at the end of last month, removing boxes and bags of evidence. Aaron Dyer, a lawyer for the rapper, has since shared a proclamation calling the strikes a witch chase, and it is honest to demand his client. Mr. Brushes was rarely kept yet addressed and helped out specialists. Despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any members of his family have been arrested or restricted in any way in their ability to travel. Dyer added, there has been no finding of criminal or common risk with any of these charges. Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight to clear his name each and every day. In a statement, Combs claimed his innocence from the allegations, saying, let me be absolutely clear, none of the awful things that are said about me happened to me. I will fight for the truth, my family, and my name. 